rapid eye technology will change your quality of life. Hello, I'm Claudia Bianca, Master Rapid Eye Technician, and I've had a practice since 1992. Rapid Eye Technology not only changed my personal life, it also gave me a new career. I'm here today with Dr. Renee Johnson, the founder of Rapid Eye Technology. She has also authored two books, Reclaim Your Light Through the Miracle of Rapid Eye Technology and Winter's Flower, Kelton's Story of Autism. She is also the director of the Rapid Eye Institute. Welcome, Dr. Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being with us today. Tell us more about this healing process, Rapid Eye Technology. Well, the Rapid Eye Technology is a stress relief technique that simulates your REM sleep. When you're asleep at night, your eyes are moving back in a neurolinguistic pattern. It's moving back and forth and hitting all the different modalities. And the eyes are kind of blinking, you know, fluttering. Mm -hmm. Have you ever watched a little baby where it flutters? Um, and you're processing all the trauma that you had during the day, actually processing everything you thought or did during the day. And if there was anything at all that was traumatic that happened, that was life-threatening, mm -hmm. the brain actually um, puts a message in there not to process that, and it's held what we call um, in a trap trauma. And that trap trauma um, stays there, kind of protected, until you get uh, some kind of a trigger. And it could be a song or anything that happened. It could be something that was going on in the environment. It'll open that file and it'll start to uh, make people more angry than they should be. Or mm -hmm. you cry and you don't know why. Mm -hmm. Things like that. And when we do the, the rapid eye um, simulation, what we're doing is we're opening those files in a REM sleep state, but the conscious mind is really awake. It's a wakeful state. So when the conscious mind is awake and available, we can create change. We can. The conscious mind can now make new decisions, new choices. I, it was interesting coming down here this morning. I had a trap trauma. I needed to write something down. And I couldn't understand why I was resisting writing something down. And immediately my brain went back to a time when I was 16 and I wrote something down and then I got in trouble for it. It was so, we were laughing about it uh -huh. on the way here, just going, oh, we love rapid eye. Well, that's what happens in rapid eye because the mind will say, oh, that kept me alive when I was five mm -hmm. years old. I don't need it now. Mm -hmm. And it just lets it go real quickly. Worked for me when I was 16, was not working for me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are some of the tools? that we use in rapid eye technology? Well, um, we have an eye directing device that we use to direct mm -hmm. the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, we use um, visualization with the REM sleep. We use, um, we're actually doing a whole process. We're working on the whole body. So we, there's 19 different movements of the eyes mm -hmm. with, and techniques. And we're working on the whole system so we're not just working in one area, but we're working on the whole neural pathway that goes into the cell memory. So we do body learning so that people don't recreate out of habit, that they actually retrain their body. We put new information in. Is that where the visualization and the imagery comes mm -hmm. in? And it's through life skill classes, life skills. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. new information. Where did it actually come from? Where did Rapid Eye come from? What made you think of this? Well, years ago, um, I had an autistic child, and that was 38 years ago. Anyway, it, there wasn't anything available, so you just tried one thing after another. Mm -hmm. I went the whole gamut of the doctors and the drugs and um, alternative things, everything I could imagine. Finally opened up a school for autism in California, Fountain Valley, California, and um, worked for five and a half years with autistic kids trying one thing after another. So we kind of threw away what didn't work and kept what did. And years later, when um, we developed the rapid eye, I noticed there was a lot of tools and things that I knew worked with the mind and the brain that kind of come into that. Your story of, of Kelton and the autism and the development of rapid eye is in the book Winter's Flower. It's more his story, mm -hmm. but it also you know, led to the rapid eye technology. Every time I think parenting is tough, I think of reading Winter's Flower, and I go, I had it easy. <laughs> well, it's a good book for not only um, the rapid eye, but, or I mean, for autism, 
but mm -hmm. it's also a good book for anybody that has any problem with a child because there's a lot of his problems covered a, w a wide range of attention deficit and hyperactivity and all kinds of things so good um, how does rapid eye work in the body what is it that it teaches us how, what are we learning to balance well um, of course, all of our problems go back to how we feel about it, you know, the emotional charge. Mm -hmm. So if you had some kind of abuse early in your childhood or some trauma uh, that's trapped in there, once we let go, go back there and let go of the emotional charge, then it's just a story and people can process it and let it go and move on in their lives. So the difference between a trauma and a memory is the emotional charge mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. rapid eye helps to right. relieve. Okay, okay, good. Um, you talked a little bit earlier, you just barely mentioned an eye directing device. What do you use that for? The uh, eye directing device vibrates very quickly so that you're giving the left brain and the right brain thousands of messages to the left brain to talk time. to right brain. Mm -hmm. And so the faster you go, the more messages the brain gets to communicate. Okay. So we're doing the auditory, and then we do memory, which is up this way. It's a when you look at you when you want to remember something, you look up and think, "Oh, what was that?" And so memory's so up over here. So you look up. Okay. So we do auditory, and we'll feed the brain a lot of different information and tell it to go to the core issue, and it will because anytime you move a fast-moving object in front of someone's eyes, it puts them in an alpha theta brainwave state. So kind of like a candlelight, watching the flickering candle flame or sitting in front of a fireplace? Similar, mm -hmm. uh, but very different because you're only staying there for a little while and you're telling it to release and okay. you're moving to another modality. So the body has stored things in all these modalities. It's stored things in auditory that we heard, in memory that we couldn't forget, mm -hmm. in visual that we've seen, uh, all the times we recreated it, all the feelings we had about it. And so the, the wand directs the, the eyes and the brain to those different modalities. Okay. Tells them to, gives them a lot of emotions, and a lot of possibilities of things being there, and then tells them each modality to release. And so what we're doing is we're working on the whole neural pathway at once, but we're working on, on it so quickly and changing state so fast that it's like eating an elephant a bite at a time. You, you take the whole trauma and then you, um, you work on a little bit here and a little bit there, and then you keep doing it over and over and over until pretty soon the whole trauma has released. So when you're talking to somebody and you're talking about these modalities, when someone is looking at a picture, their eyes tend to go up. Uh -huh. And and then mm -hmm. when they're talking about a feeling, their eyes tend to go down. Yeah, you always look down when you don't feel good. Okay. You know? Okay, so. great. What do we get in contact with with rapid eye technology that really makes the change? You mm -hmm. go right to the core issue first. The old model that we used to do in psychotherapy is is to chain back and we go right to the core issue and because you're in a suggestible state you'll do that the client will do that you go right to the core issue and then you release it quickly mm -hmm. but when you get into the neural pathway you're working on all the times you were angry through your whole life or all the times that you felt sad or all the times that you've recreated that pattern and you're working on it a little piece at a time over and over and over until the whole thing is the emotional charge is released Dr. Johnson, what is it that keeps us trapped in these traumas? What is it? What are we well, it's forgetting? The, it's the body's um, mechanism to survive. Probably okay. years ago, that kept us alive, mm -hmm. but it doesn't keep us alive anymore. We, those trapped traumas really get in our way. So. It would be nice to be able to turn around and look at our life and even love some of the, the mm -hmm. traumatic memories. Well, it really becomes a gift after you take the emotional charge out because you mm -hmm. look at all the things that you've learned from that. And where it brought you. Mm -hmm. where you. Where you've come from. But as long as the emotional charge is in there, we can't forgive ourselves or others. We, we are constantly replaying it. Constantly. We're still hooked. Mm -hmm. We're still hooked into it. And this takes it away quickly, mm -hmm. real quickly. So you go through a lot of trauma, trapped trauma in a session. There's so much education um, that you do as part of Rapid Eye Technology. There's, there's so many things that I know I learned through Rapid Eye that I had never even been exposed to before. Your success will be directly related to your ability to not only understand, but also to implement higher life skills. As you become familiar with these principles of growth, you will see greater value in Rapid Eye technology.
we, we teach the life skills in nine week segments and they're free to the community. And so a person mm -hmm. doesn't have to be a client of Rapid Eye no, or a uh, technician, okay? Community comes in, they, they love the life skills. A lot of people repeat them several times. I'm excited about Rapid Eye. It seems to offer so much to so many. Tell us more about the research. How much research has been done? Well, we did about 10 years of research before we started training. But there's re ongoing research for mm -hmm. the last 20 years. Um, Serenity Lane is doing um, research um, on drug and alcohol with Rapid Eye. And, um, and how long has that been going on? Uh, about a year, I think. They're going to do a five-year study. Wonderful. And then we have a, a medical doctor who is um, doing Rapid Eye, using Rapid Eye right in his office, watching it, research with clients to patients to, uh, for crisis management. So there's a lot of things going on. A lot of chiropractors have the uh, Rapid Eye in their facility because they do a whole program. So it's everything is being taken. You know, they're taking a good look at it. Good. Uh, how it goes with everything, and that's the nice thing about Rapid Eye is it does go well with every modality, of whether it's massage or acupuncture or more traditional healing methods. So it sounds like something that all practitioners can use. It really is it a really great tool. Yeah. Anytime emotion comes up, this releases it very quickly and gets right to the core issue. So you can imagine it goes with a lot of things. I know in my practice I have found through all the clients that I, they'll come to me and they'll be like, um, I, I've tried everything. Mm -hmm. I've tried everything Try. and I'm still <laughs> here. And I w to watch them unfold and mm -hmm. move through something that they've been stuck in for so long has, has truly been a miracle. It really is. We've, we've, it's so exciting, such an exciting work to have people call you and tell you, this changed my life in just a few sessions. And you can see the change mm -hmm. on them instantly. Yes, you can. That's what's so fun. There's a resolution in almost every session for yeah. most people. What does it teach my body? It teaches it balances you on a physical, emotional, and mental spiritual levels. It's um, the body, well, for example, we've had uh, people come in with disabilities, mm -hmm. and we don't exactly work on disabilities, but we work on trauma, okay. and then all of a sudden their body will heal the disability. Are some of us just really stuck in the physical, and we believe, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and we oh, kind yeah. of ignore the rest? Um, our bodies and our minds are tools actually mm -hmm. you know we use the body to, to ride around in and to feel and experience life and we use our mind as a tool to think and solve problems and I think sometimes as human beings we get stuck in the mind or the body and we start thinking that uh, that's all the, uh, there is and that we are a body or we are the mind and we really are more than that and the premise of rapid eye is that we are spiritual beings that we if you get quiet enough and listen to your body and your mind, you'll go beyond that to a place where you're just listening and they become your counselors instead of processing and, and running your life. Sometimes in my life I think I refer to that as a place of knowing. Uh huh. It's, that's what Rapid Eye has given me, is taken me to that place mm -hmm. where I just know. And it's easier to live in the now after Rapid Eye because mm -hmm. you're not always walking backwards thinking about your past or you're not always worried about what your future is going to be you're living your life right now because if you're always concerned about your past or, or your future you miss your life you really do life's important uh-huh life's important and, and it's that balance of of the spiritual the physical and the emotional and the mental that makes it seem so much easier right you know it's like i'm using the whole tool now instead of just half of it well, rapid eye is really a lot of energy work. It really is. Mm -hmm. Energy going through the body and releasing from the body. Mm -hmm. We really are um, made up of energy. Everything about us is just energy. It's amazing we've learned so much about this in the last few years, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it really is. It's exciting. It's very exciting. It really changes people's lives. It does. And we have um, people always ask about, well, what does this work on? And it works on anything that's stress-related. Mm -hmm. which is about everything because <laughs> <laughs> you have stress about any dis-ease in the body that you have mm -hmm. and it will help the body to heal itself better that's what it does how long do, do the results last 
Well, it depends on how trapped people are in holding on to their pain. Mm -hmm. A lot of people hold on to their pain because they don't want to lose their disability, or they'll hold on to their pain because they get a lot of attention. And you can't go against anyone's free will with rapid eye. They have to really want to heal. So it's really a process of self-empowerment. They really do get to a place uh -huh. where they can choose their life. They can choose which way they want to go. Absolutely. Self-empowerment. And there are a lot of things, once you learn rapid eye, you have a lot of tools that you can take care of yourself. So you don't always have to be running to the therapist, even though it's good to come back and have a maintenance session once in a while. I call it a tune-up. <laughs> right. I'm you still are, doing tune-ups. Life keeps on lifing, so yes. you do need yes. to. New issues will come up, new traumas. Dr. Johnson, on behalf of clients and technicians everywhere, thank you so much for creating this process that truly enables us to love ourselves and others. It really is a miracle. Thank you. You're welcome.